Yay, sweet. Okay. So this is a YouTube lean back, and what you're actually seeing here is um, Flash delivered, a Flash delivered experience. This video, and I'll actually put the volume up so you can actually know that. This is you told it back the. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me put it back here. So this is being streamed from the internet. So this is being streamed from the internet, and this is a. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the video quality on the stream is, but I want to show you some of the other stuff. And what we have here is this is actually running Flash Player in Chrome. So really cool, you know, what this has been designed for. And so I'm using a keyboard here because we don't, um, we're, you know, we can only show so much of the actual input methods. But um, imagine I'm going to use the five key navigation. So pretend like I have just a regular style remote here for a second. So I hit down here to actually browse through this. This is all kind of you know built in Flash here. And now I'm maybe I want to go watch some autos. That sounds fun. So maybe get to see some cool racing stuff or how not to do a motor swap. Let's try this. So I'm just using five buttons, up, down, left, right, and enter, to kind of navigate this UI. What you're actually seeing is hardware decoded video. So the video is actually being sucked down from the internet. Frames are being put into the hardware decoder, and it's then rendering it back. And Flash is actually in the, is the one managing this entire process. So cool little video there. So the next <coughs> thing I want to show you guys. It, yeah. So uh, how come? This is going to sound bad coming from me, but why is Google doing this in Flash and not HTML5? I have to ask Google. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. I'm happy there. Um, yeah. Good for me. <laughs> so the next thing I want to show you guys is a couple of videos, kind of show you how awesome the video capabilities are, both the Google TV and Flash platform, and the Flash platform running on the device. So now this is actually... So this is, you know, you recognize this, right? Standard YouTube, standard standard HTML website with the Flash video player in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch videos here. I'm using a keyboard and mouse right now, which kind of is indicative of, um, you know, different kinds of new methods of uh, input into the living room that we're going to see enabled by Google TV and other platforms over the course of the next couple of years. This video is loading up. Um, it'll take a couple moments to load up. But what you'll really be able to see is I'm going to actually take the video. It's standard mode is 360p. I'm going to actually take it up to 720 go full screen, and give you kind of the cinematic experience that you know you expect from a living room kind of environment. So while well, it's looking there. You can see. You can. <clears throat> so just to also give you some reference here, standard disclaimer, this isn't early version. So what you're seeing now again is this HD, HD hardware decoded video, 720p rendering on my TV. In a lot of cases, you'll be able to see no difference between you know, what you get available on Comcast through your video, video on delivery, video on demand services that, that they make available. So, you know, very high quality video. This is probably fairly high uh, megabits per second in terms of streaming. streaming. You know, really high quality content that you're able to, you know, just access and watch now in the living room. Are you guys worried at all about, you know, the, the average consumer using this and pulling up a, a user-created YouTube video that's crappy quality and blaming it on the box, not knowing better? So, you know, there's, it's an interesting, it's an interesting question. I think there's a certain user understanding that's available with YouTube now, right? People understand what YouTube is. They understand yeah. what the web is. Um, you think that's widespread enough to translate to like to my dad in the living room? You know, it's a fair question, and uh, maybe we talk to your dad and see what he'd have to say. But um, <laughs> I have a sense that you know people are browsing the web on their TV. This is a direction that's going to happen across the you know across the ecosystem, and there's a certain set of expectations that come with the web. So. Now, the next one I want to show you is a little bit more, um, oops, so is the BBC News. You're all probably familiar with the British Broadcasting Company, and they stream their video using Flash on the web. And we're going to go browse over to some article um, that's available here. We'll pick one that's, um, maybe we pick this one here and get a chance to uh, watch it. I'm going to click in here, article loads up. So. You'll see that you know the text is here. Chrome does a fantastic job of rendering, uh, you know, what is made for the desktop available onto the web. 
And you know, you'll see that Flash does an equally good job here of actually making the same video content in, our, in the two examples I'm showing, for the three examples I'm showing you here, of actually rendering this video back to you. One of the things, um, oh, here we go. Unfortunately, this is only, I think, an 18 second video. Oh, you even get ads too, so isn't that great? <laughs> um, so you're actually seeing this, this, this video play back here advertising, all the same kind of stuff. So, you know, while this is kind of haha amusing for us as consumers, and you know, I, just as much as one, think ads are, you know, a great thing. Um, they're, a, they're a key part of the content ecosystem, both from a TV and a web perspective. And so we're, you know, we're pretty excited that, you know, the same kind of place that incents people to build content exists as well here. So give it a second, actually start up, there it goes. So, you know, this is, you know, obviously, a 41 second video, but uh, we can take it full screen. And you can kind of see, you know, being able to watch some of these cool videos from the web now on your TV. Yeah? Well, the people that you're talking to on the TV side, are they looking to create specific TV, just like the you know, mobile sites, just like, or TV sites, just like we have mobile sites? You find um, six and one half dozen the other. Some people are, some people aren't. Again, the interesting thing is on the TV ecosystem, it's so nascent that people are kind of, you know, in general, some are, you know, again, really excited and jumping in head first. Some people are, you know, dipping their toes in the water. Yeah. And so you'll see, I think, people like the big media companies who are really excited to uh, make video content available on a platform will go like, here's my, instead of m.newyorktimes.com, uh, here's tv.newyorktimes.com. So the last demo I want to show you is uh, the PBS Kids website. And we'll play a specific game there. So PBS Kids, obviously, the American version of the BBC, or the BBC's American version of PBS, take your pick. Um, this is a, you know, a site that can be shared between children and, um, and, and parents. One of the really compelling scenarios here that we find from a company that creates content to enable, create software to enable content creators, is your PC and your phone are one-to-one -one devices, right? You have your phone, I have my laptop, and that's basically it. Kids get phones at younger and younger ages, but you know, they each get their own. There's still certain um, there's still a certain set of you know a colloquial American family that sits in the living room and watches TV together. One of the interesting things points of data and you know I was seeing some research presentation about this is this expression of here but not here or together but apart, which is families sit in the living room but the kids have their laptops, the parents are working, but everyone has the TV going on together. So it's like kind of a unifying device that holds a lot of the living room scenario for an average American consumer household on a given night. And so one of the really interesting things that we see is how can the TV enable that for, from a gaming perspective? And you know, while we can all know that you know, Xbox, PlayStation, Wii enable this really kind of very innovative, high-powered, high-octane kind of gaming, not, maybe not the Wii so much, but you know, what can you do in the TV space to replicate this for all age groups, kids being particularly interesting? So I'm gonna click over here into games. This is all Flash. You know, this website is built completely with Flash. And I'm going to load up this game called Curious George Mix and Pain. And it's a really simple game that lets children um, learn how to mix colors together, how colors mix together to make paint. So while well, it's loading up here, here's Mix and Paint. I'm going to fire this guy off. And so you guys can kind of recognize that this is the Chrome browser experience. You know, I don't have a PC hooked up here. Same kind of effects, rollovers, all that sort of thing. And so, you know, this will go through. But you know, there's a very, there's some really interesting anecdotal information in the ecosystem from people who've done uh, user research, which shows that when kind of these gaming scenarios are available in the living room, parents, children will in interact together in these sort of scenarios, which is kind of cool. Um, so we see, you know, really cool ability for. Maybe I need to put some more. Yeah. And so you know, here I am. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, and I was playing this earlier today, and I realized I don't know how colors mix together. <laughs> so if I want to make that blue and add some white in, maybe one a little bit lighter color here. So I'm going to fish is this. So, yeah. so you know, you, you get a sense basically of what enabling the full web on the television, you know, and full web on the television in a shared kind of community experience can really be like. 
And that's one of the really interesting and important things that you know, we believe that Flash as a platform on Google TV and then TV-enabled devices is actually a really interesting place for us as a company and the, you know, the technology ecosystem as a whole to kind of evolve to.